forecast. Kirk, the smoke from Canada is moving out, but storms could be moving in this weekend. It's almost a trade off. You're right. We're looking at calm conditions tonight with some cloud cover, but uh, again, we're looking at August to start out very calm like a lamb. Let's take a look at our radar satellite composite. We can see some cloud cover moving into the area, but no precipitation associated with it. Uh, no chance of rain at this point. We do have a full moon that'll be up if we don't see it yet. A high mark West Virginia sky cam says we're at 68 degrees, 93 percent relative humidity. The winds are calm and the pressure 30.09 and steady. You can see the glow around the mercury vapor lights. That's a pretty good indication that we're almost saturated as far as the moisture goes. Current temperatures around the region 71 at Charleston and Columbus, 68 for Parkersburg, 67 in Athens. Calm conditions in the Mid Ohio Valley, no movement at this point, and all the other, most of the other reports are very weak and not terribly uh, well coordinated. The 24 hour temperature changed about four to five degrees warmer than we were t yesterday at the same time. So we are heating up. When we look at the big picture here, a lot of uh, calm conditions throughout Pennsylvania and Ohio and much of uh, West Virginia. This is the high pressure area that has been exerting its influence as it's drifted off to the east. The rotation around that high has just barely kept the movement from the southeast and until the late this evening when things have become much more calm. But that's going to bring in moisture from the south. It'll bring in clouds and possibly some showers as well. Your eye, of course, is drawn to these storms in western Kentucky and in Illinois, that's not coming to our area. But some of the moisture may be drawn back up to the north as we get into Thursday evening. And then as we prime the pump for Friday, once more, we'll have widespread fog that'll have to burn off on Friday as well as we go through the morning. Humidity forecast suggests most of our comfy conditions are gone. Now we're looking at increased humidity as we get into Thursday and then potentially another spike as we get into Sunday into Monday. That'll support thunderstorms as well. So there's your uh, thinking that uh, with the smoke dissipating, this is where the storms are more likely to come in. Here's the smoke future cast. And again, it's high up in the atmosphere. It's not at the surface. And as it dissipates and moves out, we're left with fairly fairly clear air as we go into Thursday by Thursday night. Again, there's a little bit of a rebound coming back down, but it doesn't look like it's going to be much of an issue. Tonight, 65 for the overnight low, partly cloudy skies. And again, that full moon may be tinted just a little bit. Last night it was kind of orange. This night, thinner amounts of smoke. It may be only pink. We'll have to see as it comes up. Tomorrow, 81 for the high temperature, mostly sunny conditions. And when we look at the extended forecast here, we'll jump from 81 on Thursday to 87. It certainly looks like we'll be at 90 by Sunday. Hot, and that'll prime the pump for possible storms Sunday into Monday. Looks like there's a chance of rain showers, but not as large as the storms on Monday.